We just got a statement from John Kirby, the Pentagon press tech, uh, secretary, talking about uh, this morning's attack there outside Ka Kabul airport. I'm just going to read it directly. It was just handed to me. We can confirm that a number of U.S. service members were killed in today's complex attack at Kabul airport. A number of others are being treated for wounds. We also know that a number of Afghans fell victim to this heinous attack. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the loved ones ones and teammates of all those killed and injured. Mick, I'm going to bring you back in uh, because uh, you know a, num a number of these men and women serving uh, in the U.S. military, and this is always very tough to hear. When you hear, uh, you know, just listening to Maggie and what all our troops are doing to get these refugees to, to safe harbor, and now we've got to go back to in-country and find out this explosion, this suicide bomber indeed killed uh, a number, according to John Kirby, of our U.S. service members. Um, this really takes this mission to a different level now. They have not only attacked uh, their own people, they have attacked Americans, Americans there trying to get people out safely, and now we have a number of our own troops uh, dead there on the ground in Kabul. Yes, and I know we've been tracking the casualties, and now that we hear that they're actually uh, killed in action, it's, it's uh, obviously something that every American uh, should take a moment to uh, consider. Um, right now, their families are being notified uh, of what happened, and it is going to be, you know, the worst possible situation for them. I think we should all honor their service and all those that we talked about earlier that have really uh, stepped up and made this operation in the most difficult uh, circumstances, the success that it is. But this shows how dangerous we're leaving Afghanistan. Uh, and just what Afghanistan is likely to become, a safe haven for terrorist groups, uh, not only in the outskirts of Afghanistan, but in the capital city. And uh, this is what everybody was concerned about with the decision to precipitously withdraw and not leave a residual force. And it looks like even before we're gone, even before all citizens, U.S. citizens have been withdrawn, we're already seeing that. But our thoughts and prayers should be with the families of those uh, servicemen and women that were injured and killed, and also with uh, the innocent Afghan civilians that were killed, simply trying to get to the airport uh, and do what they were told so that they could get out of that country uh, uh, safely. Absolutely. Those, those Marines, uh, those U.S. service members there at that gate and elsewhere really putting their lives on the line. Uh, nearly 100,000 people have gotten out of Afghanistan, many through that airport, thanks to the courage and sacrifice of the U.S. military members there.